hey welcome back to the channel hope you are liking this video series on copa for everyone and this is the third video in the series where we will be understanding in depth about account based copa so in the first video we understood what is copa or what is profitability analysis and how it has been redesigned in s4 hana and in the second video we understood a bit deeper about the costing based copa how it is different from the days of ecc or rather there is no difference what are the advantages and disadvantages of using costing based copa what are the configurations required for costing based copa so in this third video we are going to understand account based copa we are going to compare it with costing based copa in depth and understand the differences both from ecc days as well as in s4 hana days and also we are going to understand about the structure or, or the table structure about account based copa and the costing based copa how the data that is captured in copa is stored in various tables with respect to account based copa as well as costing based copa so let's jump into the video so account based copa as we have discussed in the first video was not much very much used in the sap ecc or the erp days because it was lacking various functionalities we will see in detail about what are those functionalities that were lacking in the detailed comparison between account based versus costing based copa in the subsequent slides but whoever had used account based copa in the erp days they used to use it in parallel with the costing based copa so that they can avail functions of both costing based copa and the reconciliation with the gl by using account based copa but lot has changed in account based copa in the s4 hana now account based copa is based on gl accounts in erp it was based on cost elements we all know that in s4 hana cost elements have been merged with the gl accounts now a gl account and a cost element is created in the same way in the transaction code fs00 there we are having option to whether create a primary cost element or a secondary cost element or a non operating account or a balance sheet account so all the gl accounts and the cost elements are created in a single place and all of those are treated as a gl accounts so we can safely say that account based copa is now based on the gl accounts so account based copa fetches all the values from the gl accounts directly unlike the value fields in costing based copa which we need to configure to fetch the values this functionality of direct linkage with the gl accounts is a major advantage of account based copa because it has always real time reconciled with the gl module so it is fully integrated with the universal journal table and the reconciliation with the gl in real time SAP is now calling account based copa as margin analysis in S4 hana in ERP days it was called as account based copa though now many people still call it as account based copa it is now being officially called as margin analysis in S4 hana so now we said that it is directly linked to the universal journal table and in real time reconciliation with gl module and all so what is the advantage of that the advantage is that if you see costing based copa if you want to add a new characteristic that characteristic is stored in a separate table it is not stored in the gl tables but whereas in account based copa you can directly add new characteristic in the ac docky table or which is nothing but your universal journal table so that means every characteristic and the values is present in a single table which is the universal journal table which is very comfortable from a reconciliation point of view that is a major advantage of account based copa as we are saying that the values are fetched directly from the gls and we need not create any value fields obviously the configuration needed for account based copa to go live is less compared to the costing based copa and obviously the reconciliation is much easier compared to costing based copa so because it is closely linked with the gl and the data is completely stored in the universal journal table one thing that is easier now is that both your external reporting which means your balance sheets and the pnl items which you are reporting as a legal reporting for the authorities and your internal reporting which is management reporting is now harmonized also account based copa allows drill down functionalities in the reports whatever the management reports that you are creating using account based copa you can double click on the items and dig deeper or drill down to the lowest level and see the details in depth that is advantage in account based copa if you remember from the second video we have discussed that costing based copa is based on the cost of sales accounting you cannot use costing based copa if you want to follow the periodic accounting method but whereas account based copa it supports both cost of sales accounting as well as periodic accounting if you did not watch the second video i will give you the link of entire copa playlist in the description please watch the first two videos and then it will be easier for you to understand this third video now account based copa in s4 hana also supports splitting of costs like cox split 
we will understand deeper about cog split in the subsequent videos in this entire series and it also supports predictive accounting we will understand these later on but please do remember that account based copa has these additional functionalities of cog split and predictive accounting so because of all these advantages sap going forward is recommending everyone to use account based copa if anyone is migrating from the ecc days where they were using costing based copa sap is recommending them to use account based copa if required also have costing based copa in parallel but account based copa is something that sap is mandatorily recommending everyone to use going forward sap has clearly mentioned that it is no longer going to invest in improving costing based copa functionalities all focus is now based on account based copa so account based copa is now recommended approach by sap so if you see here on towards the right side we are having a sample of how the reports are looking in a account based copa so if you compare this with the costing based copa from the previous video you can see that here there are no value fields whatever the values that we are receiving all these are directly coming from your pnl gl accounts that means your cost elements so this is what when we mean that account based copa is directly linked with the gl so the moment we say that it is fetching values from the gl account directly this is also getting stored in our ac docky table which is your universal journal table so this is a comparison between costing based copa account based copa and margin analysis when i mean account based copa versus margin analysis please understand that account based copa as per erp and margin analysis as per s4 hana so this is the primary area with cost collectors how are the values fetched from the different modules to copa in case of costing based copa it is through value fields we need to configure value fields we need to define how to fetch the values but whereas in account based copa it is cost elements and which is now changed to gl accounts in s4 hana so obviously when it is not linked with the gl accounts costing based copa is not directly reconciled with the gl module but whereas account based copa and margin analysis is linked now in erp days account based copa is not used often because of lack of certain functionalities so this is one such functionalities wherein we cannot record the data of sales orders in account based copa in erp days whereas in costing based copa whatever the data that you are passing or you are creating sales order the same details can also be captured in your profitability segment by using costing based copa whereas now in margin analysis this functionality is again supported in the account based copa or margin analysis same with the statistical conditions whenever you are having a billing document or a sales order you will have certain statistical conditions which is not actually posting but it is used to record certain values so those values can also be linked with the profitability segment in case of margin analysis which was not possible in account based copa which was only possible in costing based copa in the erp days similarly if you are having more than one valuation areas or valuation methods that you are using that was supported in costing based copa but only one operational valuation area was only supported in case of account based copa but now in margin analysis again multiple costing variants are supported same with the quantity fields in costing based copa multiple quantities can be captured in the profitability segment whereas account based copa used to support only one quantity but margin analysis is now improved a, improved a bit we can capture up to three quantities and three unit of measures now there are certain new functionalities that sap is bringing to margin analysis for example commitments whenever you are posting any commitments those commitments were not earlier recorded as a part of your copa in erp days be it costing based copa or account based copa but now in margin analysis you can also have commitments captured and one important functionality or one focus area what sap is now doing going forward is that derivation of characteristics without using profitability segment now we all know that even in the first video also we have discussed how the values are going to flow to copa from different modules is that whenever you are posting any transaction be it a billing document or a invoice there is a profitability segment that is available and profitability segment is a combination of various characteristics and you are going to pass the values to those characteristics either by derivation or manually and those values will form as the base for copa so every copa value derivation is completely based on profitability segment but sap is now focusing on margin analysis without profitability segment or rather without operating concern that means we need not create operating concern in future it is not yet live but in future sap is targeting to have margin analysis reporting without operating concern or without profitability segment
So how it is possible? In the GL field status group itself, the SAP will possibly allow us to have certain characteristics and you can add those into the field status group and the moment you are posting any transaction onto that cost element or the GL account, system will automatically derive the values in that characteristic. So you need not have anything like a profitability segment or you need not have anything operating concern created. So that is what SAP is targeting in future. So that is fundamentally supported now as in, in margin analysis, which is not possible in costing based COPA or account based COPA. Universal allocations is also one aspect which is not supported in the ERP days in either costing or account based COPA, but it is supporting in margin analysis in S4 HANA. So this gives a, a broad comparison between how COPA as such has evolved from the ERP days to S4 HANA and especially how account based COPA, which was not having many functionalities in the ERP days is now evolved as margin analysis in S4 HANA. So before we proceed further, I believe you are liking this video series, please do like the video, share it with everyone so that everyone can benefit out of this free COPA series. And for me to post the next video, please do get me at least 50 likes for this video. So the next part of this video is understanding the structure of COPA in S4. So when I mean structure, it is a data structure, like what are the tables that are created or where the data that is captured in COPA is stored with costing based COPA and account based COPA. So this is the structure of a costing based COPA. We have been discussing so many times that costing based COPA is not reconciled with the GL module, which obviously means that the data that is captured in costing based COPA is not stored in the universal journal table. So where is this getting stored? The moment we are using costing based COPA, the moment we activate our operating concern, various tables gets created in the background. So you can see this list of tables on the right side. These are the different tables that are created the moment operating concern is activated with costing based COPA and depending upon the description, the data is stored in each of these tables. For example, CEO, this 4x represent our operating concern. The moment you create operating concern, the operating concern ID, for example, if, you, if your operating concern is ABCD, then this tables will be CE0 ABCD, CE1 ABCD like that. So this table will have logical line item structure. Your actual line items are posted in CE1, plan items are stored in CE2, segment levels, segment tables. So depending upon different type of data that is captured in COPA, the respective table is storing that particular data. So obviously there is no link between these tables and the universal general table. So obviously there is no reconciliation happening between the GL module. Also, SAP did not provide us any functionality to migrate the historical data of costing based COPA when you are migrating in the middle of the financial year. For example, you are going live to a new system in the middle of financial year and you were using costing based COPA in the ERP days and you want to continue using costing based COPA, of course, in parallel with the account based COPA in S4 HANA also. Then SAP did not provide us any functionality to transfer the historical data that is captured in costing based COPA in your ERP to S4 HANA. The only option is you go live at the beginning of the financial year so that your entire data will be fresh. There is no historical data for COPA or you ignore or forget about your historical data which was captured in your old system and continue with account based COPA. Whereas if you see the structure of account based COPA, it is very simple. The margin analysis, we have been discussing that it is storing data directly in ACDOK in real time. So it is closely integrated with the GL module also. If you see this snippet of ACDOK, whatever data that is created in the operating concern, the same profitability segment and all the characteristics that are used in this profitability segment or in this operating concern are directly stored in ACDOK table. If you see, there are different documents that are posted and for each and every document, the data is completely stored in AC docket directly and is available for us easily in AC docket table. So this is the difference between the structure of account based COPA and costing based COPA. So that is what we're in this video. In the next video, I'm going to start the hands on configuration of profitability analysis. We're going to see how to create operating concern, how to define characteristics, value fields, etc. So do not forget the target for this video is 50 likes. Please do like the video and share it with everyone so that I can post the next video immediately. See you until then. Take care.